Hello again, I am Jim Bob. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to this special sort of overview of what we know so far about Farming Sim 17 Platinum Edition. So, uh, some new information was released today. Uh, obviously, we already knew the release date, the 14th of November. There has been a price announced, which is 19.99 in both euros and dollars, as listed on their website at the moment for the PC and Mac edition. Uh, no pricing details have been released for console version just yet, but I would imagine they would be the same. Uh, no sterling price has been listed as well, which maybe makes me think that'll be a little bit cheaper, maybe somewhere around £15, £16. Pounds. Uh, so the details that they've announced, um, pretty much we kind of already knew a little bit. You know, one new South American game environment and new vehicles and tools from Case IH, Stara, TT, Bison, Gessner Industries and much, much more. Uh, the languages that will be available, English, French, Italian, German, Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch, Turkish, Polish, Czech, Hungarian, Russian, Romanian, Japanese, Chinese and Korean. So loads and loads of stuff. But what they have done, obviously, they've released these new images that you can see. Got this lovely overview here of the farm. I love that shot. It looks absolutely fantastic. And then we also have this close-up of the cows. There's some speculation as to whether these are beef cows or not, which means we may get a new game mechanic, uh, a new animal type completely. Uh, lovely beach shot here. You can see we've got uh, kind of a harbour industry area in the background there. We'll see that again in just a moment. And then we have this lovely sort of night scene here inside the, the town area. This looks really, really nice as well. And finally, we have a night shot from the other side of the industry, you know, looking away towards the beach. So these are the screenshots that we've had just added to us recently. And what we've also had is we've also had uh, some details of the actual equipment we're going to get as well, some actual specifics of the equipment. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of that now. So first things first, we're going to look at the centerpiece of the DLC, the Case IH A8800 Multi-Row Sugarcane Harvester. You can see it has a power of 358 horsepower, a speed of 10 kilometers an hour, and a working width of just 2.4 meters. Very, very narrow, this. So next up is the Bison Super Z056 Harvester. Uh, with a 100 horsepower, 20 kilometer top speed, and a 3,540 litre capacity. The header that comes with it has a 4.2 metre working width, so pretty small, um, very narrow tank, uh, not the greatest working width, but this does have no glass around the driving enclosure, so it's a completely open-aired cab. I like the look of that. From Massey Ferguson, we have the M4709 tractor, a cabless tractor with a sunshade with 95 horsepower and a 40 kilometer top speed. Obviously, we've seen this image on the left already, but now we actually have some specifics about this vehicle. Also from Massey Ferguson is the MF9030 sprayer. 200 horsepower, a working width of 28 meters, and a 3,000 liter tank capacity. Now this is actually listed on their website as a bonus, so we'll come back to this in just a moment. Next up is some stuff from Styra. First off we have the ST Max 105 tractor, 105 horsepower and a 30 kilometer top speed. We also have the Imperador 3.0 sprayer, with 220 horsepower, a 27 meter working width, and a 5,100 liter capacity tank. So a little bit bigger than the Massey there. Next up from Gessner Industries, the single row billet planter. This is obviously a sugarcane planter. Uh, has a 140 horsepower working requirement, a working width of 0.8 meters, very, very narrow there, and an 8,990 litre capacity tank. And then from TT, we have the Colossus 10.000. This is a trailer that can hold sugarcane, 140 horsepower requirement, capacity of 26,000 litres. And also from TT, we have the Big TT Cultivator, 320 horsepower required, a 3.4 meter working width. So this is obviously going to have some special feature built into it that we are not yet aware of. More details on that will no doubt be made available later on. 
And then finally, the last bit of information we have is the making of Farming Simulator 17 video and modding tutorials 3.0 in English, German, French and Polish. These will be included, I'm guessing, only with the PC and Mac version. And we also have a couple of these coming soon boxes. One of these is listed in the vehicle section and another one of these is listed in the tool section. So my guess is we're going to get another you know, piece of uh, cultivating equipment perhaps or maybe a plow and uh, we're also probably going to get another tractor. I would imagine something from Stara. We'll have to wait and see what Giants decide to announce as we get a little bit further down the line. So there we have it. Uh, the map itself is called Estancia La Pacho. Uh, my guess is that's set in Brazil. It's still not been clarified by Giants. All they've said so far is a South American country, but I'm putting my money on Brazil, given that uh, Stara is a Brazilian company and Bison, a Polish combine company, is licensed to sell in Brazil. So I'm going with Brazil. So let's recap then. Uh, November the 14th is the release date. Uh, Price currently showing for PC and Mac users as 19.99 in euros and dollars. Expect that to be somewhere probably around about 16 pounds in sterling. Console price is not listed, but expect those to be the same. And don't forget, if you are a console season pass holder like me, you will get this DLC for free. This is the final piece of DLC that will be included in the season pass. Anything that's released after this, we will have to pay for. It is available to pre-order right now on the Giants website and as we come back to the Massey sprayer you can see here it says bonus plastered on it. That leads me to think, because Giants haven't really said anything, that leads me to think that that is a pre-order bonus if you pre-order the, uh, the DLC right now. So not sure whether we're going to get that bundled in with the DLC as standard or whether that will be released separately afterwards. So that's pretty much everything we know at this stage. Obviously, some of these details will be subject to change. Remember, they did that with the Big Bud DLC, where some of the equipment stats were amended and improved before the actual content was released. We may see that happening again, and obviously we've got more stuff yet to come based on those coming soon boxes. Be interesting to see exactly what those things are going to be. Uh, I will obviously keep you all updated on both my Facebook page, which is www.facebook.com slash jimbobplaysgames, and also here on my YouTube channel. So please do go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done already. And I will see you all very soon.